Hey, this is a review of the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening Toothpaste. So we'll kind of go through all of the pros and also the cons that I found while I was using this toothpaste. And then we'll also kind of discuss whether or not it actually um, whitens your teeth or not, since it does say, you know, it's a whitening toothpaste, okay? So the very first two pros of this um, is that it is anti-cavity and anti-sensitivity, okay? but but those two traits aren't unique to just this product from Sensodyne Pro Enamel. It's basically for all of the Sensodyne Pro Enamel product lines. So with all of the different variations, they, they both possess these properties. The very first one is that it's anti-cavity because it has sodium fluoride in there. So, so that will kind of help prevent cavities and it'll help reverse small uh, cavity lesions that may be forming. And then it also contains potassium nitrate, which is, a, which is an anti-hypersensitivity agent, okay? So if you're suffering from uh, chronic teeth sensitivity, this toothpaste is it for you, okay? And how it does that is that it helps to depolarize the tooth nerve so it doesn't fire any sensitivity signals, okay? And those two things are pretty much consistent across all of the pro enamel toothpastes. The, the, the dirt pro with with this toothpaste is that it is SLS free, so it does not contain any sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, what you'll find with that is that you won't get a lot of foaming with this, which is what I kind of noticed when I was using it, um, but it still does lather pretty well though. Uh, what I mean by that is that the toothpaste still kind of spreads uh, and it kind of helps you glide around your teeth, but you just won't get like a mouth full of foam. All right, but but otherwise it, it doesn't feel like there's not enough toothpaste and you have to use extra or any of that, right? It's like the normal amount of toothpaste should be su sufficient. Um, another another thing with the the SLS is that um, you know some people say that it it makes uh, canker sores worse, right? So if you are suffering from canker sores, um, you know you you may want to seek out a toothpaste without any SLS, okay. Uh, the fourth pro is that I do like how all of these toothpastes, they do have like a flat cap design at the end, uh, right? So that kind of lets you um, store the toothpaste in a vertical upright position, okay? So I think this looks a lot cleaner than the ones that sort of roll around on the on the counter, which and it also takes up a lot more space too. So, so, so this I definitely prefer a lot more. Um, I guess it, it kind of looks more like a cosmetic product when, when it can kind of stand upright like that, right? Because you, you know, back in the old days, and you know, all the toothpastes they they would just kind of uh, roll around on the counter. So, so I do appreciate this uh, this new design. So those are the the four pros, um, and then now we'll move on to the cons. The very first con is that. Uh, you know the the the, the pro enamel toothpastes they do tend to cost more than like the the more basic toothpastes, um, so there is a, a little bit of a, a price premium for that. And I also do kind of notice um, the, the size for these are also um, quite a bit smaller too, because because um, some of the the the, the faux faux size toothpastes they go up to like six ounces, and then if you get them in bulk from like you know Costco, uh, you can you can sometimes find them in like the eight ounce size. So this is this is four ounces. It's still uh, relatively small in my opinion. The second con is that. Um, the cap is actually a twist off cap design. I mean, this one is not terrible. It, it's not, it doesn't take that long, but it does take a bit more effort than something like say a, a flip cap like this. See, it just opens a lot uh, quicker and it is more convenient. So I do prefer the, the, the flip cap over the uh, twist off cap design, but you, but you know, but that's not the end of the, the world. Um, the third con about this is that you will kind of notice it immediately. Um, it has a very strong menthol mint flavor. Okay, you can kind of you can kind of smell that as well when you're squeezing the tube and smelling it, and also while while you're brushing, you get a pretty hefty uh, mint menthol smell. Okay, and then just to kind of make a like like a distinguishment or distinction. Um, there, there are like two types of mint flavors. There's like the very first one would be like the sweet type of candy mint, and then there's the, the menthol smelling mint. All right, so so this one is not the sweet smelling mint. This is more the the menthol smelling mint. Um, I guess the best way to kind of describe that it would be, th th this one kind of smells a bit more like the the Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> if that's a good comparison, all right? It, it definitely does not smell like food at all, and 
you know, I've tried quite a few of the, the Pro Enamel toothpastes and, and smelled all of them too. But by far, the, the Gentle Whitening one is, is a lot more um, mental mint tasting and smelling. All right, so if, if you're not a big fan of like mint in general, um, you know, you, you, you may want to try one of their, the other ones. They, the other ones taste uh, better in, in my opinion. Uh, the fourth con with this toothpaste is that it won't actually bleach your teeth whiter. Um, it is a whitening toothpaste and it will whiten your teeth, but it will not bleach it whiter though. All right, so that kind of brings us to our uh, discussion about um, so how exactly does it whiten your teeth? So the, the way the Sensodyne Pro Enamel whitens your teeth is actually just with, uh, it does not have the ingredient on here, but um, it uses the hydrated silica in here to kind of uh, whiten your teeth. By what I mean by the hydra hydrated silica is that that one whitens your teeth by mechanical abrasion. So if you have like a stain or something on like the table and you kind of scrub it with a sponge and you remove the stain and now it looks whiter, that's the type of uh, whitening this this toothpaste does. Although that's kind of similar for all of for like 95% of the whitening toothpastes on the market. When they say whitening toothpaste, that's what they mean. They, they mean by uh, mechanical abrasion of the exterior surface of the tooth as the, the sort of whitening. Um, when I say that it won't bleach your teeth whiter, um, the, the, the teeth bleaching is kind of more of what you think of when you go to the dentist to get your teeth white. You know, they put a gel on your teeth and then it, it chemically bleaches it whiter. Right, so so this toothpaste does not chemically bleach your teeth whiter. The main reason is because it does not contain peroxide. Okay, the one of the only two ingredients that can do that is the uh, hydrogen peroxide or a derivative of peroxide, such as this this take home professional product right here. All right, it, it it needs to contain peroxide for it to be able to bleach your teeth. Although there are like a couple of toothpastes on the market that do have peroxide in there, kind of like the. Uh, Colgate Optic White series where you see it has 2% hydrogen peroxide. So so this toothpaste here, it will um, you know mechanically abrade away stains and it will also chemically bleach your teeth, okay? So so this one, I would say, is like a real whitening toothpaste, the Colgate Optic White one. Um, and then the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening is, is more of the traditional whitening toothpaste that will not bleach your teeth. But you know, but in the first place, this, this toothpaste is, is meant for people with uh, sensitive teeth, you know. Uh, as far as I know, the only people who, who use the prone animal toothpaste are the ones who have teeth sensitivity. And of course, you know, the, the peroxide does make your teeth sensitive because if you have ever whitened your teeth before, your teeth do get sensitive, right? So it will kind of defeat the purpose of this toothpaste if they put peroxide in there, which is why the Sensodyne Pro Enamel does not have peroxide in there all right but overall this is a, a good everyday toothpaste it won't make your teeth sensitive as a matter of fact it will make them less sensitive so if you have uh you know if you're prone to cavities and your teeth are sensitive this would probably be the toothpaste for you okay however if you don't like mint mint flavored things this is this would definitely not be uh that great for you i mean i personally do like mint but even i kind of find the the mental uh taste and smell to be just a, just a little bit too much i mean I, I can still use it and i don't mind it as much but if you if you were giving me options i would um probably choose one of the other uh pro enamel toothpastes they, they kind of taste a lot better in my opinion yeah but that's the end of this review